Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 254, Rocked by a Hurricane. Sir Topham Hat and Stanley rushed into Vickerstown Station. The wind was beginning to howl outside. Thank you for the ride, Stanley. Now where's this engine that wants to talk to me? Over here, sir, said Rosie. His name is Hurricane. Sir Topham Hat walked over and looked at the long red engine. Hurricane, he muttered. That's a rather fitting name considering the weather outside. The engine smiled. Sir, I work at the steelworks on the mainland. I've never been to Sodor before, but one of my friends, Merlin, has been here several times. I have something to tell you about one of your engines. It's Toby, right? Brown, square tram engine with the number seven on his side? Yes, I was in the yard near your bridge to the mainland yesterday, and I saw him being pushed away by an orange diesel. I've seen a lot of different engines in that yard over the years, but never your square tram engine. He was very damaged, and he limped along the rails. He looked nervous, afraid. He looked uncomfortable, sir, like he didn't want to be there. Sir Topham Hatt was very concerned. Yes, that sounds like Toby, all right. Do you know what happened to him next? I'm afraid not. The diesel kept pushing him along, and they disappeared from sight. Wait, an orange diesel? gasped Boko. Did you catch his name? No, there are a lot of orange diesels on my railway, and they all look really similar. So one of the shunting diesels from the Great Railway Show came to Sodor and stole Toby. I'm afraid I'm at a loss for words. This doesn't make any sense. Well, thank you, Hurricane, for this information. I can't believe you came all this way to tell me that. Well, there's more to the story, sir. I originally came to tell you about something else. But I saw this Toby engine in the yard while I was waiting for the points to change. Sir Topham Hatt was confused. What else is there? Hurricane sighed. Things on the mainland have changed in recent years. Of course, steam engines like myself are in constant danger there. But I work at a steelworks that is gated and protected, so I don't have to worry too much. But lately, it has gotten a lot worse. Steam engines have always had it rough, but now the diesels are starting to suffer. What do you mean? The diesels have run the mainland for quite some time. Are you saying that they are no longer in control? Locomotives are not as popular as they used to be. Everyone on the mainland gets around on roadways in their own cars. The trains are empty because no passengers are riding, and the diesels that pull them are beginning to fear for their livelihood. I think they realize that their time may be up sooner than they thought. Rosie shivered. That's terrible! I know those diesels over there aren't the nicest, but every engine deserves to have a job. There are some new electric engines that have already begun taking their places. The diesels are going to be in trouble. I just wanted to let you know about what was happening, since you have done such a great job preserving steam engines here for many years. Well, that's extremely kind of you, Hurricane. I appreciate the notice. I will definitely look into this further. But right now, we must get Toby back, and we must recover the treasure. Just then, the whole station shook as the wind raged on outside. I'm not going out there if I don't have to, whispered Boko. You're right. This storm is a serious one, and the passengers won't want to travel in this kind of weather. Finish your trains at once and seek shelter immediately. 
You're welcome to stay here until the storm passes, Hurricane. Come along, Stanley. We still have lots to do. And Stanley puffed out of the station. Back at Pirate's Cove, Rocky was being put into place to recover the treasure. The weather tracker nearby was going berserk. This wind is ridiculous, cried Thomas. Sir, I don't know if this is the right time to do this. Rocky's crane arm won't stay still. I'm afraid he'll get blown over into the ocean. We must at least try. The future of the railway depends on it. Just then, it began to rain hard. The storm was upon Sodor. It's just some coins, probably, muttered Stanley. Surely the treasure can't be worth all this trouble. Just then, Flynn pulled up. This is some of the worst weather I've ever seen, sir. I think we all need to seek shelter immediately. Sir Topham Hatt gazed sadly at the edge of the pier. He wanted the treasure for the railway so badly, but he knew the safety of his engines came first. Right then, everybody inside. Find somewhere safe to rest until this passes. Thomas, take me to Natford Station at once. I'll need to go to my office and cancel all of the trains for the rest of the day. Thomas was very happy to get moving again. He puffed as hard as he could and arrived safely back at Natford. I can't believe you went out in that, cried Edward. You're very brave, Thomas. I'll be inside my office, everyone. If you need me... Just then, the Admiral walked up. He looked sad and tired. Sir, I need to talk to you right away. Of course, of course. Please, come inside. No, I think it is better that I tell all of your engines. I have decided I must conclude my search for Sailor John and the Sodor treasure. I have worked valiantly over the past few months, but I think it is time for me to begin another discovery. I have never come up empty-handed in a search before, and it truly devastates me to tell you all this. Your engines are not very happy with me right now, and rightfully so. I have not fulfilled my promise to you, Sir Topham Hatt. I knew Sailor John was a crafty pirate, but never like this. Perhaps it is my old age that is getting the best of me. So, sir, I have packed up my things from the Scarloe Railway Cottage, and I will be returning to my ship once the weather ceases. I hope you understand my reasoning. Sir Topham Hatt nodded. I understand, Admiral, but I urge you to stay just a little while longer. I don't like to assume anything as important as this, but we may have found the treasure after all. Once this storm passes through, I'll show you everything that you helped us achieve. The Admiral smiled. That is wonderful news, sir. I'm very happy there is a silver lining in all of this. I only wish I could have one last shot at Sailor John. He has eluded me for so long, and it would be nice to finish what I started. Just then, a cargo truck veered into the yard and smashed into the signal box. Out steps Sailor John in complete disgust. Gar, you're a terrible truck who doesn't steer right when the wind is wrong. I just need to get back to me hideout and find that treasure before... Just then, Sailor John noticed Sir Topham Hat and the engines. Arr, well, uh, hello. Thomas smiled. There you go, Admiral. The Admiral couldn't believe his luck. Sailor John, he bellowed. You and I have some unfinished business. Ha ha ha, you and what chariot, Admiral? Where's that yellow sparks machine you had the other day? There's no catching me without an off-road vehicle. Ha ha ha! Quick, 
Take Elizabeth and follow him. If you get him up into the mountains, she'll prove her worth. I guarantee it. Go quickly before he gets his truck righted. The Admiral smiled. Thank you, sir. Come along, Elizabeth. There's no turning back now. And the two raced into the storm after Sailor John. The engines were amazed. That was very kind of you, sir. We all know how much Elizabeth means to you. Maybe she's the magic touch that the Admiral needed this entire time. All we can do now is wait here for the storm to pass. The Admiral might even have a chance to catch Sailor John, if we're lucky. The engines managed to chuckle. Outside, the weather was turning increasingly violent. Suddenly, in the distance... Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Is that who I think it is?